previously on my farming life. You're wrong, that looks like a fire engine. Why is there a fire engine on my track? Oh. Well, isn't this lovely? I mean, this is a bit, a bit ropey. Been better days for sure. And I'm sure they just steal this, drive it around till it's wrecked or till they get busted, and then steal something else and do it again. Um, I mean, I've probably taxed worse in the past, but. Oh, easy. We've got it. We've got it. Oh, <laughs> look at this go. Look at this go. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to My Farm in Life. I hope you're doing very, very well. You join me on what is a very frosty Saturday morning as we are driving back from a place called Annick, a town about uh, 20 minutes up the road uh, because we've been to a local dealership up there by the name of Ricky Bees to pick up something. Uh, something I've talked about a little bit in the past. You might be able to see it in the mirrors, but we'll have a look into that in a little while because first thing we need to do is actually go on up to the yard and meet a tractor uh, a truck driver sorry up there who is waiting patiently for me to arrive to unload something for the shed build uh it's all me at the moment today so uh it's gonna be working on my own because bungle is away in portugal would you believe it or not having a little bit of a holiday before things really start to ramp up so i'm just tackling a few things got everything fed up there this morning uncle came down and swapped a few uh, tractors around took the uh the feeder tractor back up there the ford and left me with a 3125 as well uh, and a fencing trailer we'll get into that later uh quick side note we gave uh, a, a neighbor a few bales of straw just to get them through there because he's in a bit of a hardship uh we had someone else approach us offering to buy some if we had some uh spare 70 pound a ton we've been offered at the minute and i think that figure might be rising as well with all the bad weather so we are definitely going to be taking advantage of that 70 pounds a ton that's wild scenes at the moment, uh, but we're just going to stop myself here because I think the truck driver's in the way up there. There you go. This is our new toy. We're going to look into this in a bit more detail once we've got this truck driver away, but it's exciting to say the very least, uh, and we will have a look into that one. Right now, though, like I say, we will uh, just go and see what we're doing there. He's looking okay. Uh, we're going to have to... Do this. There's been a lot of work on the shed over the last what, week, 10 days. So a lot to fill you in with there. Uh, but look at the frost. Look how hard it is across the, the ground still. It's about 10.30 in the morning at the moment. It still hasn't lifted. One, mate. Uh, so we're going to get the tail handler set up for that. Uh, we're slowly working our way through our straw and our silage. I think we've got plenty of straw left to last us until the cows are uh, going out. Uh, but that will be good. Um... But yeah, let's just get this all swapped around. Hay shed's emptying out there. Which is kind of what you want to see, really. And, you know, at least we're getting through it all. We haven't got too much excess. But with the with the, the year that we've been having so far, a lot of farmers seem to be plowing through their forage that they have or their, their bed and uh, materials as well. So, uh, you know, we are in a good place. All right. So, oh, we've got that on uh let's go and get ourselves in position to lift this off we've got i think the first six roof girders if i'm not mistaken here which would be a good starting point uh there's a lot more to arrive at some stage or another but yeah we'll just lift these ones off uh, like i said contracts have been working hard but it's a weekend so they're not due back until monday uh easy does it All right, I've got it there. Now, what I want to be careful of is somewhere one side there. I've got the midden. There it is. And then I've obviously got a shed on this side. So I think I'll have to go up a little bit. Just to get it over here. And then we'll show you what's been happening with the shed build, which is all rather exciting. Um, aside from... Oh, yeah, that's going to be a bit of a challenge there. We need to go that way. And then I think... Think. We'll just have to go around here, watch the Dutch barn. There you go. Nailed it. Perfect stuff. I have been reliably informed that these will fit through between the uh, the, this, the old machine shed here and the, the workshop shed. It looks like they will. 
Uh, we'll just take our time and sneak through. As you can see, beautiful day though. It is quite cold, but everything is looking good otherwise. Um, you know, we've uh, managed to get all that muck spread. Spread has gone back. And if I could afford to do it, I'd probably look to actually buy that a spreader like that. Because God, that was cheap. Uh, cheap to buy apparently. And that's, uh, but not too cheap to hire. So if we have to hire it for too much more, then we'll probably look into it. But look at my new shed. I mean, it's not finished, but it's, uh, it's coming together rather nicely indeed. We'll leave that first set there. Uh, all of the vertical beams are now in, so you can really get an idea of the scale and of the footprint of the place. It's coming along nicely, and then these uh, six are the first starting points. They're either going to be the cross beams or the... They don't look long enough to go across the top there. Lord knows how they will get in. I don't know, but uh, that's not my problem. Uh, but yeah, so this is going to be a gateway into here. You've got your feed passage along the end there, and then this is all going to be walled off here as well. So it's going to be quite a large building once it's all said and done. Uh, I was worried about space in here to get into into our um, pit there. But you know what? I think it could be okay. We'll have to see. But for now, at least, it's looking promising. All right. But we'll go and get this second wall and all sorts. Then we get that truck away. Uh, look at our spinner in a bit more detail. And then we're going to go off and look at some of the new ground down at Bellum Manor Farm. Because we want to change... Well, we're changing one of the fields. Uh, because it's quite easy to change and doesn't cause any impact anywhere. Else, but it will make things exponentially easier for us so we'll have a look at that make sure we pick this one up properly i think i've got it i'm just going to bring it back on to the truck a little bit more there you go all right and then rinse and repeat we'll give him a beep you can get out of here uh, handily i've cleared out a lot of the straw around here so it does give us quite a lot more space in which to move um but yeah that's a little bit tight in places there you go and there's a corner of a cattle shed we need to miss as well perfect all right we good we good people so We'll just take this one around. Cattle are all fed up this morning there as well. Sheep are all fed. Everyone's looking good there. Got ev everything done nice and early. Uh, Bungle will be away for the next little while for the next best part of the week, really. So it's just going to be me um, tinkering on, doing bits and pieces. Uh, and then Uncle and Cousin come down just to swap tractors around for feeding up. Uh, but that will be it. Now, stick that end into there. All righty. So, yeah, like I say, I'm really, really excited about this. Keen to see how it goes moving forward there and how quickly it starts to come together. But this has been a huge step up. The concrete was poured about 10 days ago. Uh, and then these were uh, put straight in as well. So um, the beams went in first into their own little concrete uh, founds. And then this was mass poured on top of it. So it's looking good. By the end of it, we will raise the yard level up to that as well. Uh, it's We're just not there yet. It'll get done at some stage. Uh, and then we'll be all set. Yeah, very, very happy with that for a starting point. Uh, we'll just drop this one off here. Okay. Yeah, you only really get this, the, the sense of scale when you sat inside this thing. Um, it is just ginormous. I was a little bit worried at the beginning around space to get into there, like I was mentioning. But I think we're going to be okay now. Um, because once these yards all leveled up as well, uh, they've got plenty of turn space. Uh, even if I have to use a little bit of the passage there, there's more than enough. Uh, we have decided as well, once we get everything done, that around the corner here... How have you got here? like a pet view he's so tame uh this bit we're just gonna leave as a bit of a trailer park a trailer storage area anyway so just give us a bit more space around there for tankers mainly and then how have you got up there these sheep are crazy anyhow uh let's go and bring up lander over there and have a look at the new toy uh but i'll need to get a tractor out to do that with so we'll need uh into our beautiful shed look at the collection that's grown in here ah oh, yes um I think the track, the spreader is actually going to end up going on to the 5S. Uh, just to start with, at least it could go onto my tractor as well. But uh, we have GPS on the 5S and it's also a bit lighter. Uh, very nimble, very agile, but just lighter as well. So right now it's frosty, it's not too bad. But when we get into the spring a bit more and it is a bit miserably wet, then uh, yeah, we may well need a little bit more, um, a little bit more help there in terms of some light thoughts to travel across some of our slightly wetter ground. But... It is a new fertilizer spreader. It is a Cavernland. The reason we went with Cavernland again is because, well, our current spreader is Cavernland. That's been with us for about, I think, 18 years. So 
Um, if this one lasts anywhere near as long, I will be thrilled. It's a TLX Geo spread. I think this can go as far as 32 meters, which is wild. Um, we won't be going that far because our tram lines are set for 24, but uh, it could definitely be an option. Um, and yeah, it was. We needed to upgrade. We needed something wider, but we also needed something that had very width spreading capabilities there, variable uh, application as well. Um, and so that's what we really want to look into. So. We, we, we've invested, we went big with our uh, various different scheme applications that we're going through. We required something a bit more modern, which had variable rate. So that's what we, we've gone for. Um, the cost of a fertilizer spreader these days, my word, it's not cheap. But, you know, it saves in the long run because you are a lot more efficient with your application. Uh, now, which way was this put on? Uh, the wrong way, of course. Um, so you're a lot more efficient with your application there which means in theory you can be saving uh money on your fertilizer bills when you get to it uh so yeah that is what i'm banking on here really um but yeah we went up to have a look at one really like what we saw a few people have got similar spreaders and they raved about them so that was all good for us uh and yeah we're gonna have a lot of work to do now curiously we are spreading a lot of muck at the minute uh, we're nowhere near done, but with the, the muck spreader had to go back. And with the slurry separator, we'll make it even more. So we are going to be trying to use as much organic material as possible, but there will still always be a need for a fit spreader. So, which is uh, which is why we plumped to get one. And all we've got to do is find a way to get this off, I suppose. And then we can uh, crack on. I'm hoping that we can just back the tractor up to it and this should be a good height. Uh, it went on with a forklift. I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, so yeah, we'll give that a go. As you can see, we've got most of our... Well, some of our fertilizers that we need here. There's more to come, but that's at the starting point. Wonderful stuff. I haven't had to use this too much of late, actually, but... Nice to be back in it uh and then we will yeah soon i mean we're not gonna be drilling for any time soon it's only january like i say so we're probably not gonna be drilling for at least six weeks or so but uh everything is we've got some of the ground ready to go really we are going to be demoing a set of discs uh fairly soon once we start to get going just to see how they work we've been looking for a set of discs that one of our tractors could handle whilst also allowing us to drill um see what it looks like to work in the cover crops that we've been planting so that's what we're we're looking into and uh, we'll see how that goes but this is just something that we knew we we're gonna have to get at some stage in the years to come we'll probably look at finding a new sprayer as well but that will be a much more expensive outlay so we need to wait for that one uh and then we can take it from there but you know we'll, we will see how we get going all right i think i think we can get on there that might just about do it we'll have to lift up those arms a bit to get it in hey look at me we're on i did a thing uh we'll just sneak this forward and then we will be able to have a bit more of a look at it all right i think we're on we're clear that trailer is uh uncle's trailer actually and he used to do a lot of touring around with vintage machines uh he doesn't have any of them left these days but used to collect them uh and then take them to show so that's why that trailer has come down from south Philly. i'll have to take that back soon uh but let's leave this here for now push that back it looks the part. I think you'll agree. Very impressed with that so far. And uh, hopefully... Uh, hopefully, yeah, we'll get to get onto the field soon with it. I'm probably going to leave it a couple of weeks there, see how we get on. Uh, most of the winter drill crops are looking pretty good anyway at the moment. So that is fantastic. Uh, but... I really really like that now it does look a bit large there it's a three i think it's about 3.5 ton capacity so it is a big boy uh it would lift on the back of the uh 5s now ballast on the front might be an issue but we'll cross that bridge as and when we come to it uh but not an issue you can see on my tractor here anyway but yeah very very nice looking spread of that uh we'll be looking to keep that one nice and safe and dry inside um and then for now though we'll probably just tuck it in as it is i would say uh and then yeah it will be i've got to figure out how we we connect it to the gps on our machines and to the trimble units there and see what that looks like but i'm sure it won't be too difficult yeah we'll just leave it there for now because i've got to go and do some other bits and pieces yeah i like it i like it a very uh, very lot now i did think about and i saw somebody else doing this when it made me think 
if we have multiple different fertilizers to put down in theory we could have stuck at the small one on the front for anything that we're putting down with very light applications because it'll spread the same width however you got very little control of that it is literally just um uh hydraulic spool valves to open and shut the door so maybe we won't but you know that is an option um so now we're gonna go do something a little bit different something that, that i started yesterday uh and we're gonna take down the uh the, the lovely old 3125 it's come down with the fencing trailer on which is an old knacker trailer that uncle has for well for fencing um but yeah it's going i'm going to show you what i mean i started uh we finished spreading muck down at bellum uh oh that would have been uh quite a while ago now and we needed to get a few other bits and pieces done down there and i was just finding that the fields that we were in so two of them were really awkward and uh well we could have easily changed things up there so we is exactly what we've done uh and so i've done the bulk of the work yesterday i have to just go down today and tidy up really uh which is what we're going to go and do um we'll probably just shut that now that i know that i'm the only one here at the minute hello chickens we'll just give that a shot uh so yeah, I will go and drive on down through to Manor Farm there, and then we'll have a look and see what we've got up to. Fortunately, oh, I'll say that I haven't been down here yet today. The last few days, no more trucks or cars down there after the fiasco of last week, so that's all good. Uh, and then I'm hoping that's going to be the last of them as well. All right, so we will see you right over there on the far ground in the middle of that bright uh, winter's morning sunshine. All right, so this time last week when we came up here, there were all sorts happening. Uh, fortunately, not so much the case. I don't know what the end scenario was with all that mess, but it's all been taken care of anyway. So what we need to do is we're just going to cruise on down here. All these fields have been spread. We even put muck over the top of the cover crop. So when we work it in, we're working two different lots in there. Or at least that was going to be our idea. Uh, we do need to figure out those gates as well, and we'll get to that one. But as we just creep into here, you'll see... Oh, something rolled away on me. Uh, we we took down this fence. Uh, we took down the fence for a couple of reasons. One, uh, because, well, it was easy to do. But the primary reason was... It was annoying to have to come into these... These fields are all going to be the same. Uh, and it was annoying enough to come in two different ex entrances, which were both quite tight. Um the same uh, task really so when we were spreading muck out to go out and around and come back into here um hello train but we it, it was just a fence we're gonna leave the trees up there so i mean we're gonna hold on to this land for at least uh probably 10 years at this point our tendencies for uh for five was an option for another five so um we won't be going anywhere anytime soon and it just makes it a lot more convenient for us so we 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 took out it we got everything knocked off here and all we need to do now is get all of these uh fence posts picked up uh, and then we're good um very nice and easy and we can always reinstate it if we have to at the end there because it's a nice and simple thing to do so really i did quite a lot of backbreaking labor yesterday i just got to kind of finish it off now and uh get all these fence posts which are in great nick actually i have to say really really are i don't know if we'll fit them all in but we'll get most of them in then we'll go and just take them away uh if we want to use them elsewhere then of course we can look to do that one then We'll just reinstate this fence at a later time if we have to. So yeah, whilst there's not much else that we can get on with, that one seems to be stuck in the ground a little bit. Can I get that one? There you go. You know, it beats sitting in the tractor cab all day as well. But you can see... Maybe I need to get a... I think we need to get something on that to give the yank out the ground. Um... It's just going to make everything much easier. Long drags all the way up the field there, which is what we want. The sun's starting to come down. Good Lord. Brighten everything up. No end. And then we'll probably, if this continues, probably have to get Uncle in here plowing this over soon. Uh, muck's been spread on both sides of it, like I say. Okay. And we'll just move ourselves along here. Rinse and repeat and keep on going, really. Nice and easily. Uh, and then, yeah, it's all going to be part of the plan. Uh, once this is done, this land down here is pretty much ready to go. Uh, and we can hopefully, uh, like I said, start to get things worked over there. But, yeah, just a nice little change of pace here. 
not much else that we can do at the moment there apart from, well we would have to hire the muck spreader back in at some stage or another uh but it's a nice way to get the land all going now can i pull this one out yes ah you see that one i've got not like that though there you go all in a day's work but that's pretty much gonna be me for the day really not much else to report at the moment there as soon as we have more updates with the shed we'll show you what that looks like and bring you along for the ride uh if this weather stays like this and we continue to get such a good hard frost then maybe we'll get into a little bit more of the uh we'll get some fertilizer spread soon but i'd like to see the temperature warm up a little bit before we do that uh and then yeah we can't spend more slurry but we will probably be moving slurry around uh some of the different tanks and sticking it into the lagoon uh or the tower that we have at the yard now uh just to help us out there but we'll we'll see how we get on really with that one uh get that uh get the uh slurry separator working because that has been an absolute lifesaver uh all right and so we're gonna leave it here on this uh, lovely frosty morning and then we will get cracking so i hope you have enjoyed if you have and you've yet to do so please do consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing for uh, more from me simulation for the nation as we continue with my farm in life and uh, we will bring you an update as and when we can through the week the next one after this will be on wednesday so i hope you do enjoy and i look forward to seeing you there don't forget to leave any comments questions or feedback down below and we will Speak to you later. Until then, do stay safe. Enjoy what you're doing as always. From me and the 3125, we'll see you next time.